Hi, I'm Gary Schneider, owner and clinical director of Integrated Diabetes Services. And today we're going to talk about striking the spike, minimizing the blood sugar rise that often happens after we have our meals. The goal is to avoid this big spike that occurs after we eat and have more of a stable blood sugar. These big spikes are a problem for many reasons. It certainly keeps us from feeling good and performing our best on a day-in, day-out basis. But these repeated spikes can also contribute to long-term complications and other health problems. So how do we manage these blood sugars after meals? There's a number of ways to accomplish it. Uh, like, did you know that the order in which you eat a meal makes a difference? Having the protein and vegetables before the starchy part of a meal will slow down the appearance of glucose in the bloodstream. We also know that physical activity performed after meals helps slow down digestion and it helps our insulin absorb a little bit quicker. And speaking of quicker insulin, it's in, in, good to know that we now have faster acting insulins on the market that peak, start working and peak a little bit earlier than the traditional Humalog, Novolog, and Epidras that we've been using for many years. So there's probably about a dozen other ways, uh, effective strategies for managing after meal blood sugar spikes. So if you'd like to learn more, visit type1university.com. There's a course called Strike the Spike that you can watch, as well as about a dozen other courses on different topics in diabetes management. So I hope you found that helpful.